gorgeous Taurus and welcome to your weekly reading. Welcome everyone. I hope you enjoy this reading. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't resonate for you. Be sure to open up your intuition throughout the reading because Spirit does want to speak directly to you through this reading, the cards and the messages. You may like to grab a pen and paper or jot something down in your phone. If something really calls to you and it really resonates for your situation at the moment or something you're just feeling like has meaning to you at this time but you're not quite sure what it means exactly you might want to go and reflect on that meditate with it and see what spirit is trying to say to you about that so you may see an image on one of the cards or a symbol that really resonates for you has a special meaning to you guidance for taurus please spirits let's take a look taurus at your week ahead Guidance for Taurus. Surrender to non-action. And this can be really difficult and challenging to do sometimes when we feel like we want to get moving with something, when we feel like we want to start to put things into action, start to plan something and then start to take action on it. But there is something happening this week where it's necessary for you to just hold back a little bit for you not to take any action moving forward just for this week. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So that's really important. I feel very important energy and message for you this week, Taurus. Let's take a look at your next card. Soaring into joy. This is an awesome card to get, Taurus. It does mean that there is a need for more joy in your life and that this week you'll be able to find that. But you may have to put yourself, place yourself in a situation where this is the case. I feel that it says here on this card, childlike wonder fills my life. So children may be important to you or spending more time with grandchildren or your child or if you're a teacher or an educator or you're around children, then there's a lot of joy here or a lot of inspiration um, and a lot of um, positive vibes that I'm seeing coming through. So it's um, important to place yourself in a situation that brings you joy, whether you're not enjoying an aspect of your life that and you still have to pursue that this week, you still have responsibilities this week, Taurus, that may be the case. But when you have time off, when you have alone time, this is when this energy can come into play for you. The wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. You may have to do something this week, Taurus, that you don't really want to do. Someone may sting you with a comment or with an attitude or something's going to be... Um, very alarming to you you'll see something you may have um, even a psychic vision or a dream that really there something is trying to grab your attention here um, spirit is trying to grab your attention with something uh, you're going to receive a sign this week and it's going to come in this form it's going to feel like a sting or a, mm, a jarring effect somehow but it will be a sign that's really important for you to look for and to not dismiss but there's a there's a message here there's a message in what this circumstance is and why it is stinging you right now so this is a sign and I feel that maybe, just maybe, you've actually been looking for this sign, but it's going to come in this way, a different way to what you were expecting. The energy of identity, self-discovery, authenticity and being whole. It's really important this week, Taurus, to stay in your own authenticity, to stay with your own identity don't be pulled back and forth by different energies, different people's expectations of you. You stay centered. You, no matter what is going on around you situationally, you stay 
centered and authentic in yourself and in your whole being, just like it says here, your whole being. Um, I do feel that there's a, a tendency or a relationship that you're involved in where they want to, um, or there's a, yeah, a tendency here for you to be, um, thrown off course in some way, thrown out of balance in some way. So it's about coming back to you and understanding um, the, how important that is. Place yourself in, um, walk away or place yourself in a, in a different situation if it's, if it's necessary. Do something. There might be something that you can do when you feel um, thrown out of balance. Let's take a look at this card here. So you have the Six of Swords. You are moving in the right direction, Taurus. You've come from some kind of struggle or battle or challenge. Um, you may be going through a challenging time right now, um, but you've come from a place of challenge, difficulty in some respect, whether it's large or small, it's going to be different for everybody. But you're definitely heading in the right direction now, Taurus, and you are steering the boat. You're the one in control now. You're the one who um, has the reins. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's, that's where you're at this week. The Five of Cups means that around you this week or recently, there has been some kind of disappointment emotionally. It may be in a relationship, you may have had tension or an argument or a breakup even to the extreme of that. Um, there may be some real negative or um, negative energy or some sadness. Maybe guilt or regret comes into play as well. So this energy is transitory. You actually, even though a situation has taken place where your emotions have spilled out and you've been very emotional about it, you have two cups behind you here, Taurus. So this means that you actually still have a good standing with someone or in your own life um, in some way. So not all is lost is really the message that's coming through here. The lover's energy is Gemini. So you may have a Gemini around you that's significant in some way in your life. The lover's means that there is a choice that's been made. A choice has been made. A very big life choice for some of you have been made. And I see that you're now, you've made that choice and now you're moving in the right direction. You're moving away from perhaps a love situation. This doesn't have to be lovers though. You might be moving away from a job or a place of resonance, you're moving away from something or someone and you're taking the reins. You're and it's there's been some sadness around it. There's been some sadness or some disappointment around this situation. The seven of pentacles. This can be this can indicate that there is a waiting game that's taking place. Um, you're waiting for someone, they're waiting for you. Um, it's just it's an energy of reflection and seeing what you have, whether that's a, within a relationship or what you have materially, you're looking, you're reflecting and you're waiting. You might be biding your time with the situation as well. And your final card for the week is the Knight of Swords. So you might want to go head first into 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 a situation or into a confrontation or into um, a discussion maybe you, or going after something with all of your gusto with all of your energy behind you this is a very fast paced card so you're wanting to move ahead in a fast way and it's important when this card comes up to look at all of the pitfalls as well as the positives because it can be a very narrow minded card. So you might be needing to do some more of this, more reflection on the situation before you take some swift and maybe harsh action. Um, this can be a very determined card. So you can also say, and I can also see that some of you are just very determined to get things moving now. You have, just, you have decided to move away, walk away from something very difficult. 
and you are now really ready to get things moving in your life in a in a positive way I feel you really want a, you want to get something organized you want to get something sorted out so that may also be the energy coming in there for the knight of swords so I hope you have enjoyed this reading Taurus it's been really wonderful to read for you this week and I will talk to you all again soon